Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to debloat your Android device using a very easy and effective way. So first, let us know what are bloatwares. Bloatwares are some unnecessary applications that are provided by your mobile manufacturer and that you easily can't uninstall. Things that we need to proceed is a laptop or a computer and then your mobile device and to connect both these devices, we need ADB or Android Debugging Bridge. So first step, uh, we are going to install the ADB in our computer. In the second step, we are going to install Universal Deep Dota tool. That is the main tool of this video. And in the third step, we are going to connect our mobile device to our computer. Now uh, type CMD in the search bar, right click on CMD and run as administrator. Now you can see CMD is running on the system 32 in administrator mode. Type ADB and hit enter. Now we can see it says ADB is not recognized as an internal or external command. That means ADB in our computer is not installed. So to install ADB, go to Chrome browser or any other browser that you prefer. And in the search bar, type Android platform tools. Now you can see Android developers, developers.android.com. This is the official link. Now go to download SDK platform tools for Windows. You can download it for Mac or Linux also, but uh, I will select the Windows and then now let's go to the tick the checkbox and click on download and now click on ok once the download is complete navigate to the folder where it is downloaded and now you can see this is in a zip format so, so we need to extract the zip now you can use a third party tool like 7zip or winrar to extract the zip file but i will not do that i will ju just go by the previous step like uh, just select the zip file and then click on extract all and then click on extract once the file is extracted successfully, you can see platform tools folder. So now you can safely delete the zip file. And now go inside the extracted folder. You can see another folder platform tools. And if you go inside the folder, you can see all the files are present over here. So now go back and right click and copy or cut the folder from here. Please make sure you cut this folder only and not the parent folder. And now go to local disk C and go to program files here uh, right click on the blank space and paste the folder over here click on continue to give the permission and yes now you can see the folder has been pasted over here go inside the folder you can see all the files are present over here go to the uh, address bar and click on the blank space select the entire path and copy by ctrl plus c on the keyboard and now go to search bar and type environment and click on this edit the system environment tab now from here select the environment variables and please make sure you select the path over here and then click on edit now you can see only a single path is uh, registered now click on new to enter the new path that we have just copied from the address bar so just paste con the path by control plus v on the keyboard and now click on ok click on ok again to check if the path has been registered or not, go to the same location and you can see our path has been uh, added to the menu. Now close everything. We have successfully installed the Android debugging disk or ADB. Let us go to common prompt and run as administrator. Now type ADB over here and hit enter. And now you can see ADB has been successfully installed in our common line. So now close this. And now let us download the main tool that is here type universal android debloater gui and click on the first link this is the link of form github.com now at the right side click on releases from here you can see this is the latest version 0.5.1 so now click on these assets to expand the drop down and now from here you can see UAD underscore GUI windows.exe file. You can also download it for Mac OS or Linux if you are using. I will download the windows.exe file and the file size is 7.34 MB. Now click on this exe file and start the download. Once the download is complete, now go to the download location and you need to just double click on the exe file. That's it. Once you double click on the exe file, now you can close everything from the background and you can see it's saying finding the connected phones. 
so now we need to go back to our android device so let's uh, turn on our android device and here you need to go to settings and in settings in the search bar type build number and click on this build number and now you can see build number over here you can also go to the uh, about phone and from there see software information and you can see the build number just tap on the build number for several times it may be five to seven times and you can see it says no need you are already a developer if you are uh, tapping on it for the first time then you might uh, be asked for the password or pattern on your device so once the developer mode is turned on now go back in the search bar now type developer option and go to developer options from here search for usb debugging and turn it on allow and once the usb debugging is turned on now we are ready to go go back and connect your mobile with your computer using a usb cable or the charging cable that has been provided by your manufacturer and you can see it is now successfully connected now a very important step that uh, you go to your mobile device and expand the notification panel from here click on expand and now you can see usb debugging is on click on this charging this device via usb and here please select the file transfer in some devices this may be appear as uh, ftp so select ftp or file transfer whatever is available on your mobile and now uh, go to your computer and click on this refresh button and now you can see it has successfully de detected your device vivo v23334 so now uh, here please make sure you select all and then all packages and now you can see there are hundred of packages but you don't know which package is for which applications for that we need another applications in our uh, mobile so go to play store and search for package name viewer this application and click on install this is a very small application only 1.4 mb in size so it will take some time few seconds just click on open and now you can see now you can see the list of applications that are installed in your mobile and the package name is uh, just below the name of the application so these are all the application that you have installed and you can uninstall it easily but uh, if you go to system apps you can see these are the application that you can't uninstall by just pressing and holding so now uh, let's go to chrome and if you try to uninstall chrome from your uh, mobile you can see there is no option for uninstall you can only disable this application so let us now try to uninstall this chrome application so go to package names and now here type chrome and you can see the package name for chrome is it's com.android.chrome so now let us find the package name in a computer you can see the package names are uh, arranged in an alphabetical manner so just uh, scroll down to find the com.android.chrome you can see here it is now just uh, check this box and click on uninstall now before i uninstall this chrome let us go back to our mobile and let us uh, see if the chrome is available or not yes uh, it's available now click on uninstall and you can see within a fraction of seconds it has been uninstalled to confirm the uninstallation uh, now let's go to the play store and here search chrome and you can see it's saying for install that means i have successfully uninstalled if you just click on install you can install chrome from here but uh, every data will be deleted and you need to re-login so uh, i will not do that i will just basically click on this restore button to get the chrome back so just click on this restore button and you can see now it says it has been installed you can see chrome is now available in our device so basically what you need to do is just click on this uninstall button here and then your application will get uninstalled from your system and click on restore to get it back as it was before you can see this is working perfectly fine now let me show the same thing uh, for any other applications like the applications that are provided by my mobile manufacturer like these game center applications that you can see there is no option for uninstalling this uh, application you can see there is disable button that too disabled so i can't do anything with these applications so let us now go to the package name viewer application to find the 
package name for this uh, game center application just type search bar uh, game center in the search bar you can see the package name is com.vivo.game so let us find the package name in the computer as you can see it's com.vivo.game vivo starts from from v so uh, this is present uh, i think at the bottom of the page you can see yes uh, com.vivo.game so here it is com.vivo.game now let's click on uninstall and you can see within few seconds the application has been uninstalled if i go to the uh, app menu you can see there is no such applications name game center so this was the video now you can easily uh, turn off the developer option in the settings of your mobile and if you want to uninstall the android device debugging bridge or adb in your computer just press ctrl plus shift plus escape on your keyboard to open the task manager here you can see adb.ex is running just right click on it and click on end task and now go to this pc and from here navigate to local disk c and go to program files where you have copied the folder you can see platform tools just select the folder and delete it okay so this was the complete video please let me know how this video has helped you or not thank you for watching the video till the end see you in the next video till then stay safe